Hey guys, this is Grant Coombs III, aka Ball Bomb, coming to you for another video from CardRunners.com. In this video, we're going to be going over Marcuse's, our resident head, heads up experts, play at uh, 100 NL 6 Max. He doesn't play that all that much 6 Max at all, but we were doing a nice video exchange. He was going to help me out with some of probably my incredible amount of leaks at Heads Up, and I was going to help him out with some 6 Max videos. If you haven't seen part one, I think I'd really advise you guys to check that one out. We go over some really specific leaks that are more common to players that are shifting from heads up to six max. And we're going to continue that trend throughout this video. As always, we have um, table one in the top left, table two, table three in the top right, table four is in the bottom left, table five is in the bottom middle, and table six. We start off on table one here with a three bet from the small blind with king 10 offsuit. This isn't my favorite um, hand to be three betting, although with the correct stats, I would have absolutely no problem doing this. Probably someone that's folding, I don't know, 60% or more to three bets is a really good uh, candidate to be three betting. It obviously still has Broadway potential, but for the most part, I tend to leave this in either my calling of the small blind or even just uh, folding it. But with a little bit of history, it's going to be perfectly fine. Um, it also plays well against a super collie opponent as well, who's going to be calling with less hands, um, or with uh, less value hands. We have the ace-8-3 board, and I think you can look at this a few different ways. If you believe that this player is going to be calling just a lot of hands, one simple c-bet is going to take this down a large amount of the time, which is going to be really effective. The problem that I see here, though, is that Marcus decides to bet about two-thirds pot, and this is going to be simply too big with just about our whole range here. Um, in fact, on these ace-high boards in three-bet pots, because my range is going to be so slanted towards having aces as the three-better, I actually like betting much or at least less than half pot here. So I think the maximum I'd probably bet is exactly half pot, but I like betting something like 40% on this flop much better. The reason for this is that my range is just going to be completely dominating, and therefore when I'm bluffing, I'm going to get an incredibly good price on my bluffs. Additionally, it gives me a lot more room to be double and triple barreling, and it also allows me to keep my opponent's range quite wide and quite weak, thus making my future street bluffs much more effective. Another option that you can simply take here is to check, and I think I prefer that more than anything else. If we had the king of spades, I think that would be enough to continue to be betting half pot or less like we outlined before. But without having those hands, I think that just simply checking is the best play. This can serve a couple of really good purposes still, though. Because we're checking, it'll, and this looks like a really good board to be c-betting, we're definitely representing showdown to any somewhat thinking player here. So this could mean anything from a bad ace like ace-deuce, ace-four, to value pocket pairs like tens plus that are always going to call here. Or it could even mean a hand like pocket aces that just completely dominates the board here. So just by checking here on this board simply does not mean that we're not going to be or simply does not mean we are giving up here instead it just means that um, we're playing it in a different fashion and it looks like we have a lot of showdown value as played mark Hughes bets about two-thirds pot and when we get called in this situation it's going to be really bad for continuing on this board first of all we've already inflated the pot in my opinion at least more than i'd ideally like to and secondly if he just calls us with 8x or, um, yeah, probably 8x or 9s, 10s. I doubt that he would go as far as the calling with something like king-queen with the king of spades, although that's certainly in some better players and uh, weaker players' uh, game plans as well here. Um, with that said, though, there's just going to be so few cards that we can bar barrel effectively. Sure, broadways are going to be okay for our range, and we can probably get them off 8x, but at the same time, um, all spades are going to be bad for us. And he's still going to have a lot of ace X's in this range here as well. I do think that the only play we can make here on the turn is just giving up, which is rather unfortunate. But at the same time, I think that, um, I think as play is the correct play on the turn, but I think we can definitely find other ways to win this hand against a large percentage of his range.